I'm Drew Soul Quest, and you're watching Trending Talk. Okay, so House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is looking to secure one trillion or more for American families with next stimulus package. Money from the first coronavirus stimulus package has yet to hit Americans' bank accounts, but House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is already working on another government payout. According to Bloomberg, Pelosi told Democrats on a private phone call that the next stimulus bill will be at least $1 trillion with the intended purpose of giving more relief to people and small businesses. Okay, so Bloomberg reports that the second stimulus package will also focus on replenishing funds for programs that were depleted with the first relief bill that was approved last month. Though the House is not expected to reconvene until later this month, Pelosi is hoping to have the new bill passed by the end of April. So during a White House press briefing on Monday, Trump said he was in favor of the idea of giving more direct payments to American households if it was needed. He told reporters that it was absolutely under serious consideration. So how about that? We're going to be having uh, coronavirus checks on checks. I got money in the bank. Yeah. Shout out what you drink. Got... They, they trying to make it happen. We're we going to see how it turns out. So Apple is trying to help out the music business, which is understandable. I mean, Apple has had their foot in the music business for a long time now. So let's see what they're talking about. Um, Apple Music starts $50 million coronavirus relief fund for indie labels. Okay, so Apple Music has launched a $50 million advance royalty fund to ensure that artists will get paid and label operations can continue during the coronavirus pandemic. Eligible labels must have a direct Apple Music distribution deal and earn at least $10,000 minimum on a quarterly basis. Okay, so in a letter sent out to the labels, um, it read, these are difficult times for the music industry globally. Livelihoods are at risk with multiple sources of income that our industry relies on vanishing overnight. Okay, so Apple has a deep decade long history with music and we are proud to be in close partnership with the best labels and artists in the world. We want to help. Okay, so I, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, that's a great thing that Apple is doing because Apple, like they said, a decade in, seemed longer than that when you think about iTunes and all that. Maybe they mean with just Apple Music, but Apple is definitely, um, they've had all kind of different exclusive uh, deals with artists and different things like that. So I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's great that they're helping artists out. Um, it's still business. You know, I'm sure the artists that they had the partnerships with are happy as hell about that. As black communities go overall, we're just behind in the tech world. We got to support the black people in tech. Um, this is dope right here. Um, so black entrepreneur develops new 911 alert app that keeps family informed when there's an emergency. That's, that's dope. Uh, so Steve Van Dyke. Um, he's an entrepreneur from Atlanta. He's developed a new app called 911 Alert that connects families together when an emergency occurs. Once downloaded, the app will automatically send a text message to up to 10 contacts of your choice if you were ever to dial 911 to report an emergency. Most people dial emergency services before calling their loved ones. And so the 911 Alert app bridges that gap by alerting their families and friends of their distress. I love to see people that can, um, you know, create things uh, that obviously you're gonna make money from, but also that is that's something that is really helping people. This is something that's really gonna help people. This is gonna change lives right here. Um, from a regular emergency uh, situation, uh, to a hood emergency situation. <laughs> if a nigga get shot and call 911, his mama and everybody else is gonna know <laughs> where he's at, what's going on, 
and hey, be able to take care of some things. But um, th this is cool. So Steven says uh, that not only does this app notify the caller's contacts that they have dialed emergency service, but the text messages they receive also contains the caller's location at the exact time that the call was made. This can prove invaluable in emergencies when the caller is under threat from another party. Just like I said, under threat. Nigga getting shot or somebody trying to uh, kick in the door at the crib. Hey, this this some dope shit, <laughs> niggas. This is gonna help people. You know, I'm just talking shit, but this is gonna help people. But hey, a nigga kicking in the door and call 911. It's gonna send a message to your boys. They, they know what's going on, where you at. They can come heat it up hey, to handle the situation. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So I'm excited about this. So West Coast rap legends exhibit and Razzcast. If you don't know who that is, Google them. West Coast legends. Um, matter of fact, besides being West Coast legends, they hip hop legends. So uh, exhibit and Razzcast. They teamed up with Locksmith. Um, I said before on another segment I did, Locksmith is the best rapper out. He's another one. He's from the West Coast. He's from the Bay. So Razzcast, Exhibit, and Locksmith, they have teamed up with uh, Brevi. Now, Brevi, she's a singer um, and an actress. Um, she also has a choir, a small choir. Um, but she's done stuff with like 50 Cent. Um, she's done stuff with Exhibit before as well. So they actually teamed up. They dropped a new video today. Um, so the name of the song, the name of the video is with. Is called With God. I'm through this corona epidemic, uh, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, people are losing their lives. People are losing their jobs. It's just a hard time for a lot of people right now. Even with the quarantine, some people are going through depression. So they want to just kind of do something positive, a little something uplifting. Um, so yeah, it, it's dope. Y'all y'all definitely check this out. It's called With God. I was raised in a different era. The set of values that y'all use can never perish. Y'all confuse celebrity with integrity, so I regrettably readily expose what's in the mirror. I was raised with respect, so I lived by a code that was laid by the vets. When y'all niggas pay homage to your ancestors, when y'all niggas be honest, you let the man get you. America to the motherland, our future is backwards. Black shorts, hijack moors became the crack horse, rap wars. What snitches getting stacks for? We walk with God. I'm Drew Soul Quest. You've been watching Trending Talk. Make sure you check out the Culture 73 YouTube at Culture73TV. Make sure you check out Culture73.com.